I have a question for all of you listening. Have you ever wanted to feel like you have Golden Bullet active even when it's not? Have you ever wanted to one clip? That's right, one clip a hunter when playing countdown with the close range damage buff. Shoot out the player when you're ready for Torres to bring you home. Well, look no further, my friends. Become the predator with this latest build creation. Enjoy. Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here. Welcome back to another build video. And as you guys just saw, this one is absolutely insane. It started as a desire I had to make a build for the MP7, a gun that I dearly love and I think is severely underrated. And I ended up with what might be my strongest PvE build yet. I love you, Patriot build, but this might have you beat. And guys, if you know me, you know I mean business when I'm not even running a revive hive on my setup. This thing is just that strong. I don't need it. Under the right conditions, you can get upward of 65% bonus damage upon killing an enemy, making chains of takedowns insanely easy. It's incredibly fun. The MP7 is an absolute blast. I hope you all will enjoy this one. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so here we go. This is the build. And as you can see right here, like on paper and just like at its surface, it's not like the most complicated to build to put together, but I think it's really the little intricate details and how they kind of weave together that really make such a devastating outcome. Now, as I said before, the MP7 is really the heart and soul of this build. This is what I first wanted to incorporate when I wanted to make this build. And it's really the star of the show, I think, when you're going into some of the gameplay. So if you've not used the MP7, you absolutely need to try it on this build. Technically, any high-end SMG that you like and prefer and is good could work on this build, but I really recommend you try out the MP7, and I think you're really going to enjoy yourself. I have a 5%, well, on the stats here, you can see I just have damage targets out of cover, of course. I have the 5% crit damage uh, sight there, crit chance, laser, and then crit damage barrel, and then I have close and personal. Now, 
A lot of people would prefer to run something like Strained or Optimus, but I think close and personal, especially for the type of build that this is and the way that I play, and maybe you would prefer something different if you play differently, but this really comes in handy for me, and I think it's been a real powerhouse, um, as you can see in some of the gameplay. If you get a kill within 7 meters, you get 30% additional weapon damage for 10 seconds, and that could be refreshed. So, already, you're using something like uh, Hunter's Fury, which is based around up-close gameplay, and this just incorporates in so well that it really leads to some insane chains, like I said earlier, um, and I think you'll see that, and you have seen that come to life in the gameplay. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate how well the MP7 is, like, modeled? I don't know necessarily what it is, but I think it's one of the best-looking high-end guns. I think it's just the way that the mods kind of seamlessly integrate with the base model of the weapon. Also, the mag is just built in because you can't change it. So I don't know. The MP7 looks great. I've always loved this gun, and I think it performs super well on this build. So definitely give it a try to take a look at the crit stats quickly. I have 55 and 111, um, and if I optimized a bit, that would go up a little bit. So not like the most spectacular crit ever, but that's because we're using four pieces of a gear set, and it's really the weapon damage bonuses from close and personal and other stuff that we will get to shortly that really make for what makes this build so strong. For my secondary, because I'm not running an exotic primary, I do have the Scorpio. Um, a shotgun is great with Hunter's Fury and just up-close stuff in general, and the Scorpio beats everything in that category, so use what you want to use, but I do enjoy the Scorpio for this. And then for my sidearm, I just have the Orbit, like on most of my builds, but use what you want there. All right, moving on to the gear. We're running Hunter's Fury. If you don't know what it is, it's basically just your go-to SMG up-close and personal gameplay set. You get a lot of SMG and shotgun damage, as you can see in the two-piece. You get a lot of sustain with that armor on kill and health on kill from the three piece and then the four piece is just that when you're within 15 meters you get 20 percent extra damage against enemies that's pretty great and then when you kill an enemy not only do they disorient all the ones around them which is part of what allows this to be so lethal because you can just take them out while each of them are disoriented but you then gain additional stacking weapon damage and that's kind of what uh plays into the amount of uh, damage you can get per kill and we'll go over the totality of that once i go over all the pieces so I have the first piece here, of course, using four pieces to get the four piece bonus, and I have weapon damage, crit chance, and a crit damage mod on that one. Moving on to the chest piece, we have one piece of Sokolov, which of course is giving me an additional 10% SMG damage. While you could theoretically use like one piece Sombra to get higher crit, I would definitely recommend the SMG damage for this particular setup, so definitely go with one piece Sokolov if you are able. I have weapon damage, crit damage, uh, crit chance, and a crit damage mod with Obliterate. Now, you don't have to run Obliterate, but again, I think it's just one of those things that really adds to what makes this build so lethal. Lethal, you get 1% weapon damage every time you hit a crit. This is a crit focus build. This is a weapon damage focus build. You get in their face, you get more damage. You can see how that kind of stacks in there. Um, you can run something like Unbreakable if you want to. I usually do, but really on this build, I've just been able to put enemies down so fast that I'm not using that, nor Revive Hive, like I said earlier. And I'm feeling just fine with the one blue from the Memento. So run it how you want to do, set it up how you want to, but I think Obliterate works really well here. For the holster, I have another piece of Hunter's Fury uh, with just weapon damage and crit damage. Moving on to the backpack, we of course have the Memento Exotic Backpack. Now if you don't know what this does, it's kind of a long description. The basic breakdown is you kill an enemy, you get a trophy that you pick up that gives you a short and long-term bonus. The short term, for 10 seconds, you get uh, different amounts of bonuses depending on how your core attributes are set up. And the way that mine are set up is that I have six reds, which gives me 30% weapon damage for that 10 seconds. And so, let's just go over this now. When I kill an enemy, uh, and let's say it's the first one that I'm doing entering combat, and I'm within seven meters of them, I get... 30% weapon damage from close and personal. I pick up their trophy. I get 30% more from the memento, and then I get 5% more, and that stacks on for each additional kill I get with Apex Predator up to 25%. So, killing an enemy and then going on to kill more, I'm going to be going into that next enemy and the, the following ones with 65% or more additional base weapon damage, and that is insane. And that's really where I think this build shines is how much damage you can stack and cascade onto the following enemies. It's just really crazy. So a lot of you know the Memento is pretty much a go-to for a lot of solo and weapon damage focused builds in this game. And this build is no different. The Memento is really going to shine here. So if you don't have one, go out and get it. You can get it in targeted backpack areas. It's really going to help you out. And on there, I just have another crit damage mod. For the gloves, I have my third piece of Hunter's Fury, weapon damage and crit chance on there. And the knee pads, the final piece of that with weapon damage and crit chance. Moving on to the spec and the skills. Normally in this section, I tell you you can use whatever you want. And 
Well, that is always true, and I, I encourage people to experiment and try things out. I think you are really going to get a lot of benefit from this particular setup. I'm running the Gunner Specialization, which, if you don't know, gets you a lot of things like uh, extra rate of fire when you get a kill. Every third reload is faster. You definitely notice that with something like an SMG when you're reloading that often. You get additional armor on kill with stacks with the one that you get from Hunter's Fury, so it's up to 30%. You get stuff like a, a med kit or an armor kit with extra bonus armor. It's just really good for this type of play style. And not only do you get all of those benefits, but then you get the Banshee Pulse, which I absolutely love for builds like this, where I'm up in enemies' faces, trying to stay alive, just move around them, a lot of the stuff like that. The Banshee Pulse works super well. And so I paired that this time with a regular Crusader Shield. Now, when they implement the specialization revamp, I'm gonna be able to run the Gunner stuff with the Banshee Pulse and the Firewall Shield, which will get me an extra 12% damage. So this build is going to become even stronger whenever the specialization revamp hits later in year four. And that's what I'm really excited for. But at a baseline, the Crusader Shield really helps you get up in their face when you're either your Banshee pulses down or whatever the case may be. I just really enjoy having it. If you don't like a shield, you can run something like a Revive Hive or a Striker Drone, a Decoy, whatever you want. Um, but definitely the Banshee Pulse and the Gunner are, I think, really key elements to this build. So definitely try them out if you do not regularly give them a go. And overall, that is the build, guys. The one disclaimer I will give is that, yes, this MP7 does, I have optimized it and expertised it up to 10% extra weapon damage, and that does give me an edge, but even without that, I mean, you can see with that, I'm getting 125.5k base damage. That's without any of the bonuses from any of the other things. So without that, I'm still going to be well over 100k, I think over 110. And so you're still going to be hitting very hard, even if your expertise level is not that high and you're not able to get that extra 10% weapon damage. It's just icing on the cake, right? You're already going to have a really great setup and stuff like expertise and like the upcoming specialization rework are just going to make this already insanely powerful build even stronger. So there you have it, everybody. That is the build. As you saw, it's not that crazy or anything. I didn't have to become a mad scientist to get this stuff to all work together. I really do just think it's the addition of the MP7 with close and personal that really sets this thing apart from other builds that are similar. Plus, obliterate helps, whereas I know a lot of people run Unbreakable. So I hope you all enjoyed. This has been my go-to solo build for several days now, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I hope any of you who try it out love it as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts about today's build. Any suggestions, recommendations, revelations, build making, and what you're trying to get out of a build is a very subjective matter. And so I always enjoy hearing other people's thoughts and opinions, even if they differ from my own. Additionally, do let me know your thoughts on the MP7. As I said, I wouldn't have ended up making this build if I hadn't first wanted to make a new MP7 setup, and I absolutely love that gun. So I'll be curious to hear your guys' thoughts about it. That's going to do it for me today, though everybody once again thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and until the next one guys rope gold out